installation and today we're finally working on the factory five hot rod truck today we're working on the doors because rest of the bike looks great the doors need some work but why is there wood on the floor good question so I haven't looked at the prices of door stands, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna cost more than what this would cost me. So I am going to build a stand where it holds both the doors. So when I'm painting them, they're stand and elevated. You guys will see. Um, and all the tech was um, eight foot long four by four, which I'm only gonna use half of and one two by four the other two by four is for um mounting tvs in the house because the studs are really far apart in this house for some reason ridiculous but yeah but stay tuned guys and you'll see how i create a door stand and then thankfully brian did almost all of the sanding so i don't have much sanding to do at all just a little bit of sanding and pretty much go right into paint Welcome back guys. Sorry the camera died while I was building it, but this is my new door stand. Cost me about $11 in wood at Lowe's. So pretty much a little wobbly, but it's not gonna fall. Like, not gonna fall. So that's the important part. So all I did was make uh, legs so it stands up and then made the thing so it stands up yeah pretty simple so now i get to take these doors off and start disassembling those so i can sand the last little bits right here good oh oh wow these are already rounded i love you brian <laughs> you're the man but yeah so I just really i just need to take these apart and just get the little stuff that Brian couldn't get to due to the handles. Um, get them on the stands, and then I can shoot some paint on them. This is, hopefully this is, goes a lot better than a lot of the rest of the body. But now a lot of this is, a lot of work's already been done. So yeah, we're gonna get going. Welcome back guys. So, got the doors off. I found the de design flaw when I put them all the way at the edge of this. It actually started, wanted to try and tilt them over. So I'm gonna cut these down a little bit shorter. That way I can put it right here and it puts the weight right at the center. Yeah, right at the center. So, well or not, it does hold the doors just fine. So, yeah, now I get to take apart the doors. You OGs, you probably remember the nightmare that we went through getting these doors assembled. So I'm not looking forward to this part. I'm actually considering how much do I have to take apart. I do have to take these off though. And that bottom one's a mother. The bottom hinge is... We'll see what we do. All right, let me figure this out real quick. Stay tuned, guys. All right, welcome back, guys. So now my plan works. <laughs> so I cut the arms down so the weight is inside the, the footings of the legs. And then now the doors are balanced and they support. And even if I take one door off, it doesn't want to fall. 
like it wanted to previously. So if you're gonna do something like this, make sure you cut the upper arms shorter than the bottom legs. My mistake, it happens. Yeah, it's hot, I'm sweating a lot. But, yeah. So now I just need to take a, off door handle for sure. And I'm thinking of taking these out and resetting the screws back in there. But yeah, uh, these need to come off because these need to be painted as well. And the bottom wants to paint. There's no way around it. Not a single way around it. Yay! All right, welcome back, people. So, getting the doors apart is not that bad. So all I really have to do is sand this area right here, where Brian really couldn't get into with the, the sander with the door still on and everything. So I can do that on both sides a little bit in this area, because, and this area is on both of them, and back here. That's about it because all right here is sanded and everything so i'm gonna pull these apart get these sanded and then i could probably tape it off and oh i do have there is something i need to fix ah right here so in this door i do got to do a little bit of body fill I broke through on that what a shame But that's not gonna be bad. Not that dry. So yeah, we're gonna do some sanding. Get this going and we'll be good to go. Welcome back guys. So I got this door fully sanded. The battery died on me. So, but I got this door fully sanded. All that's left is to do the body work, but I wanted to finish sanding this door as well. So, I mean body fill. So if I have to do body fill on this one, I might as well just do the body fill all at once. Get everything good. But coming along this door the other side is fully sanded I just need to sand this other side and yeah other than that um, I'm gonna call it for tonight it's hot I'm tired and Masha's hungry you guys know what happens when Masha's hungry I gotta go make food all right catch you guys tomorrow welcome back guys so it's a new day and all I have to do is finish sanding the top side of this panel. The other side is actually already sanded. Yeah. So once we get this sanded, I have to do some body fill. Not on this one, it seems like. Actually a little bit right there. But all right, like this panel actually seemed to be really, really good. So I just need to do body, a little bit of body fill on that one. And then probably just a little bit right there. And then we can start shooting. I could tape it off. 
then start shooting paint. All right, welcome back guys. So, I got both the doors sanded. Now, I just need to fix this little area right here. And I noticed like some little splits on this door. And there's some, and down here, or I think it's gonna delaminate. Deciding I may actually use um, Panel bond for this because I don't want these doors coming apart and So Yeah, we're, we're gonna see how I can pull that off with some panel bond because I think It was just there and yeah, so I'm gonna get the panel bond gun ready and Hopefully I don't suck at this and we'll we'll try and make this work all right welcome back people sorry i had to stop recording before the heat's killing my my gopro i have to figure out a new camera solution but i did manage to get some panel bond into this stuff and it is almost dry it's supposed to take a few hours before you can sand it but it's looking pretty good already so, I've got time to literally wait for panel bond to dry. Masha went to the store. I think I'm gonna take it for a ride. <laughs> take it around the neighborhood. Make some noise, you know? Really make the new neighbors hate me. Or love me. Whichever. But, yeah, I think I'm gonna go take this for a little cruise. It's never a bad day when I get to drive this thing. Met a couple of the neighbors. Uh, they enjoyed it as well. And, you know, I had fun, got to let it idle up, get warm. I've still got to figure out, it is getting still a little bit higher than I care for. I don't know if it's because the fan's not doing enough or if I need to bleed it some more. We'll see, that's, that's minuscule. But I'm, I'm happy. This thing is awesome. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I'm going to continue to wait for this panel bond to dry, and I'll catch you guys when it's dry and shoot some paint, baby. All right, welcome back, guys. So, panel bond finally dried, sanded it smooth. It's now time to throw some paint. I'm ecstatic. All right, so stay tuned. You guys watch me toss some paint on these panels. Welcome back people. So it's kind of dark. I know this isn't my last garage. So don't get a lot of good lighting in here. But 
trust me when I say it's looking good so we're gonna call it a wrap for this video um, I gotta do a couple more coats on the outside of these doors the insides are gonna be painted black so the whole interior I haven't really talked to you guys yet but the whole interior is gonna be still at black so we will um, yeah I'll catch you guys next video I appreciate you guys watching thank you like comment subscribe if you like this type of content have a good one guys peace